Hello everybody and welcome to the Alien vs Predator Galaxy YouTube channel. This is Aaron Percival aka Corporal Hicks. And this is Adam Zeller aka Ridgetop. And welcome back to another motion tracker video where we are talking about some of the latest news of the Alien and Predator franchises. And we're back for one of those rare videos where we get to talk a little bit about Noah Hawley's upcoming TV not TV, I suppose that's that's the wrong way of framing it these days. Uh, upcoming series, uh, which is going to be on Hulu, I believe. That's the idea. And so he's actually spoke a little bit more about what we can expect with the show. It's more theme, than, I guess, than, than um, any specific details. But... He's got a new book on the way out um, called Anthem, uh, which I'll post a link to in the description as well if you're interested in checking that out on, on Amazon. Um, so he's making the press rounds, talking about the book, trying to promote it. And in a new interview with Esquire, um, he was basically just asked, how how's it going? How's the Alien show going? Uh, said a simple, everything was going great before he started to talk about some of the things we'll probably be seeing in the series. So do you want to read that, mate? Sure. Uh, quote, it's going great. It's going slowly. Unfortunately, given the scale of it, I've made a certain business out of reinvention. Alien is a fascinating story because it's not just a monster movie. It's about how we're trapped between the primordial past and the artificial intelligence of our future, where both are trying to kill us. It's set on Earth of the future. At this moment, I describe that as Edison versus Westinghouse versus Tesla. Someone's going to monopolize electricity. We just don't know which one it is. In the movies, we have this Whaling yutani Corporation, which is clearly also developing artificial intelligence. But what if there are other companies trying to look at immortality in a different way with cyborg enhancements or transhuman downloads? Which of those technologies is going to win? It's ultimately a classic science fiction question. Does humanity deserve to survive? As Sigourney Weaver said in that second movie, I don't know which species is worse. At least they don't fuck each other over for a percentage. Even if the show was 60% of the best horror action on the planet, there's still 40% where we have to ask, what are we talking about beneath it all? Thematically, it has to be interesting. It's humbling to get to play with the iconography of this world. So the transhumans download bit there is actually interesting because it relates to, I say interesting, it solidifies some of the character details that um, we shared. Um, well, no, Illuminati um, scooped it from the casting call and, and we clarified some details about it being one of the characters consciousness has been downloaded into a synthetic body um which is yeah it's pretty much transhuman download i mean transhumanism's pretty much the belief or theory that the human race can evolve beyond its current physical and mental limitations especially by the means of science and technology so i think that pretty much confirms that bit of detail that we had um in regards to the character um wendy who was the main uh, main character's hermit, his sister. So I guess the same same discussion yeah, and, and so, feelings apply from from that scoop. Yeah, no, it's um, I think anyone who might have been a little skeptical of that last bit of reporting can certainly see some more evidence here uh, of the story going in that direction uh, from a more official source now. Um, but whether you one, like it or not <laughs> yeah whether question. you like it or not and there's some fans that that don't like this they're like can we get off the ai already and refocus on the alien um, the, the, the funny thing there is yes you know um somebody posted one of the comments in there that made me laugh it was it was a paraphrase of um malcolm from jurassic park oh eventually uh, you will have you... some aliens in your aliens here yeah yeah um, and i find that funny because you know, that was one of the reasons the alien got shoved back into Covenant was this perceived outrage of there being no aliens in Prometheus. And I'm like, no, people didn't complain about that. And here we have complaints uh, about it in this. But I think that's more down to branding than anything. You know, Prometheus was 
Prometheus. This is supposedly an alien series. Um, so I guess I really do think that's that's branding because I think this this place in the alien universe to tell stories that don't necessarily focus as much on the alien. You know, same as Halo. You know, there's place in that story, in that world for stories that don't revolve around the Halo itself. And I think Alien has the same depth to it. I think there just needs to be a good balance um, because I do feel like it's been some time since we've had an, an, enough focus on the creature. And this is probably why people are nervous about this because the prequels were so focused on other elements yeah, at the expense of the alien. Uh, so I think there just needs to be a balance here. Like even in, in media where the, the alien has been very focused on like isolation, you still have a, a AI elements like Apollo that are kind of dealt into and things like that. So this is always just a very common element of the alien universe. And it seems like they are exploring it in new and interesting ways, because typically we've just had androids before with the where with the the rare, the where <laughs> with the werewolves, <laughs> uh, with the rare <laughs> Uh, exception of, of uh, the transhuman downloads in something like AVP2, which we mentioned before. Um, but notice it actually talks about multiple things here. It says, what if there are other companies trying to look at immortality in a different way? So it looks like we're going to have some rival corporations here, Twail and Yutani. Um, but then it says, with cyborg enhancements or transhuman downloads which is essentially saying that not only will we have androids, we'll have cyborgs and that'll be different from the transhumanism well, element. I mean, it's also talking about AI. So that implies three methods of immortality here, AI cyborgs and the ability to transfer consciousness between things between synthetic bodies. So I think there's, well, it's quite clearly going to have com competition here. This is going to lean, I think, very heavily, well, potentially quite heavily into the corporationist angle of, of Alien. Yeah. So, Which uh, I think is very welcome. Yeah, so we, we could be seeing a type of corporate espionage, corporate um, competition sort of story. Because, I mean, we haven't had that in, in the live action stuff. We've mostly only really seen that in the expanded universe. Um well, straight off the bat in the expanded universe, really, you know, because you had Bionational and, well, it was a government. It wasn't another corp uh, corporation, but, you know, you had these competing um, entities trying to monopolize the alien for things. And I get, well, William Gibson would have done it with the conflict between the UPP and Wayland Jutani as well, but it, it still hasn't made it to live action stuff, which will be a, a, a first. For yeah. the show. And this is something Noah's talked about before when he said he wanted to show the people running these companies um, in a previous interview. So seeing more of that, I mean, you've had these shadowy organizations in the Alien series for some time and seeing more of the up upper echelons of those organizations uh, and their operations, I think could be pretty interesting. Mm hmm. And it's nice to see him still focusing on this. You know, one of the things he said in the other interviews was, you know, is the story still interesting if you take away the alien? And to see that, I mean, we're obviously getting a, an indication of what that angle is going to be in this show now. You know, it is this quest for immortality through some means, um, which is why I think this was going to be right up Ridley Street. You know, I've said that several times. Um based on, you know, the stuff we didn't, we knew, but we couldn't talk about. But I, that's what I've said all along, and I think this particular angle is why. Because see. Maybe it'll end up being just as weird as, like, Raised by Wolves. I still haven't finished that. I only made it through about... Me neither. I was getting into it. Most of the... Sh yeah, I made it through most of the show, but I just didn't finish it. I still intend to, to be honest. But, you know, I, I think it echo. It depends how much of your Blade Runner you like in Alien, is really what this is. Because, you know, that is... So that, that that was the theme of Blade Runner, you know, getting more life. Um, Prometheus did the same. You know, um, Wayland went to the engineers for more life. So it's definitely, I think as Ridley gets older and faces his, his mortality is something that he's interested in. But, so I guess maybe it's not actually that different from, from where we've been lately. 
Well, it does say Earth in the future, um, which I know also some fans are griping about. But personally, for me, Earth is one of those things that we just haven't really seen. Oh. In... And it's better than near future. I know that was something that yeah. also... Um, it doesn't say near future. Worry. It just says the future. Future. Um, was it Langraf who said that before? I'm when they announced sure. that? Yeah, I think yeah. it's when they announced yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. In, during that investor thing. Um, so... Yeah, I maybe he just meant near future, like it's not, you know, hundreds of years in the future or whatever. Um, but it does specify here future Earth. So the the chance to see some of those cities, like I hope they don't go too Blade Runner esque, but I don't think they will. Um, and I always kind of have that image from the Alien RPG where you do see a city, and it is obviously inspired by Blade Runner, but it's still you know, looks different enough, you know. Um, and we kind of saw a colony city in the comic uh, Dust to Dust, right? Yeah. 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 A, a slightly more developed um, location, yeah. So the chance to see a future city on Earth when that's... It's kind of like Blade Runner, right? Like, Blade Runner has the opposite thing. They talk about these off-world colonies all the time, which you never, ever see. And in Alien, um, you never see Earth. So the opportunity to see a future Earth and to see the cities and the humans living there and, and what the politics are in terms of the corporations and the powers on Earth, like that's a really intriguing concept for me. And I personally, I don't agree with the whole, oh, well, this cheapens Ripley's sacrifice because the alien is on Earth now. It's like, well, that doesn't mean it's going to spread everywhere um, immediately. Uh, this could be an outbreak in a contained area. Mm-hmm. You know, so and it's interesting here as well because he's talking about the iconography of the franchise so that seems to imply that maybe visually we'll see some you know it will look quite close to what we've seen from from the other elements of alien maybe there will be aspects of um at least hope in what they do with the future of earth rather than that blade runner s because maybe it'd be too easy to go for the the neon future and the and the um, hazy future. Maybe, maybe they'll go more with what we've seen in some of the other stuff, which I think could be interesting. Because it's always been something I wanted to see is a more developed colony, and if they continue that angle with the aesthetic of Earth somehow, it could be interesting for me. Yeah, agreed. Cool. I don't think there's much more to say on this one. No, I mean, this year they should be... Um... I would imagine getting into production. So hopefully things will keep ramping up. We're starting to hear more about the story and they're supposed to be shooting. Was it March? Yeah. March. March is when they're supposed to be shooting this year. Right up then. Mm -hmm. Uh, Well, March is when this apparently shooting in Thailand, Um, whether there's other stuff before that. I don't know yet. Okay. Well, how are you guys and girls out there feeling about this current news? Um, Interest peaked. Interest not peaked. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing more. As always, I'm kind. Of, I, I'm a. I'll reserve judgment until I actually see the the finished thing. But I can't help but be curious, and you know, uh, as we go along, let us know how you're feeling down in the comment section below. Uh, if you haven't already, with the last video before this one was a, a stream that we did yesterday as of recording but we're going to be looking to do weekly gaming streams now um th- thursdays 7 p.m british time which i think is about midday central yeah, america so if you're in the u.s it's afternoonish. so i guess this might be more for the uh the uk <laughs> the europeans i guess because <laughs> you guys should be at work um but yeah cool uh head back to the main channel check uh, check out the other stuff give us a like and subscribe and all that rubbish um but yeah, let us know how you're feeling. This has been Corporal Hicks. And Ridge Tom. Signing off.